Nice. Smile, gorgeous. You're on camera. Happy Sweet 16, Jenna. Love ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Daddy's pimping out the door, Jenna. You're gonna miss your own party. A girl's gotta look good, Zach. <laughs> Work it out. Work I it love out. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Yo, man, you see that buffet inside? It's like 50 feet of food. Yeah, down, bro. Jenna's pulling up. Come on. Limo looking sharp. Here's Daddy's little girl. Vic's name is Gary Howard, 54. Bellevue pronounced him DOA. Damn, he walked right up on him. Yeah. I can't see the suspect's face. What about hotel surveillance? Cameras only cover the entrance. The shooting was just out of range. Checking street surveillance now. Can you vouch for that as evidence? And could you get your boys to do an area search for the gun? Maybe it was tossed. So what right. did he look like? White guy in his 20s, about six foot, wore a hoodie. You got a good look at the guy. Oh, yeah, he ran right by me. I almost pissed my shorts. Now, this job's usually a snooze. Go figure, someone actually needed security tonight. We weren't hired for Mr. Howard, if that's what you mean. DJ Spinart was going to be performing. Spinart's doing kids' parties now? The money talks. Detective? CSU's got something for you. Thanks, man. Wow. My sweet 16 dad wouldn't even loan me the Buick. He obviously didn't love you. I told him as much as the time. This is your pick, right? Oh, front page is a business section. Yeah, I found his stuff behind the planter. And I'm bagging some cigarette butts, too. Not cool. He would have had a good view of the limo when it pulled up. So he was staked out with the paper. The shooter didn't know who Howard was? Says here he's the CEO of Presidio Armor. Never heard of it. They make bulletproof vests. Yeah, how's this gonna look for business? I heard the gunshots when I was getting out of the limo. My dad squeezed my hand really hard. Did you see the man who did it? No, it happened too fast. I don't even think my dad saw him. He was looking at me, you know what happened. <laughs> Why don't we finish this later, okay? <laughs> Gary was out of town for Jenna's birthday last year. He felt like he needed to make it up to her. I can't believe he's gone. Did she tell you anything? She won't talk to me about it. She's holding up, considering. Look, Mrs. Howard, I know this is difficult, but... Any information you can give us, enemies, threats, anybody that would have had a motive to hurt your husband. I'm not sure. Uh, no, there was something. He changed drivers this past week. The new guy carried a gun. Do you know why he needed the security? No, we can never discuss his business. Bill Whitney might know. He runs Presidio's day-to-day -day operations. There was an incident the day after the piece ran in the Times. Some protesters outside our offices. One of them threw a rock at Gary's Mercedes, smashed the back window. You can imagine he was upset. God, we're all in shock. He's dead. The Times mentioned that large military contracts were awarded to Presidio. Is that what all these protests were about? We're outfitting the army with body armor. These left-wing conspiracy nuts think we're kicking back money to the White House for taking us to war. Any other incidents you know of? Just the one. Let me show you something. We're developing new protection systems for the next generation of soldiers. Our ballistics lab is state of the art. We can generate computer models, run impact simulations, amazing stuff. Top of the line right here. Level four ceramic armor, full Kevlar, which stands up to six rounds moving at 2,800 feet per second. And this is what our soldiers are wearing over there. It's the only reason they're coming home alive. This was Gary's mission. How old well did you know him? We were good friends. Thursday night dinners were a ritual. Did he ever mention anyone who had an axe to grind, business or otherwise? He was a straight shooter. People respected him. He never would have agreed to an armed driver if I hadn't insisted on him. That's who he was. This driver, where'd he come from? 
Our company has security in-house. They handled it. I drove Mr. Howard and myself the past week. Other than the window, there were no other incidents. Why didn't he have an armed escort at the party last night? The protests had broken up by then. He said he didn't need me to cover. Most anti-war activists, it's, it's just grandstanding. I was in the Bureau for 16 years. Never seen anything like this. And that's your feeling, that the shooting was done by one of the protesters? Not the sidewalk variety, but someone politically motivated, yeah. You might want to take a look at this guy. Lloyd Zvitsky. Fits our purpose description. Who is he? Worked for us as a chemical engineer until he sabotaged a batch of ceramic armor. Turned it into peanut brittle. I think he wanted to turn public opinion against the war. Lloyd Zabisky, open up. You got your ass kicked by a girl. Come on. 